Hello friends, welcome to Video Club channel. Pele was born Edson Arantz do Nascimento on October 23, 1940 in Tres Coricos, Minas Gerais, the son of Fluminense footballer Dondon Ho, born Joao Ramos do Nascimento, and Celeste Arantz. He was the elder of two siblings, and was named after the American inventor Thomas Edison. His parents decided to remove the I and call him Edson, but there was a typo on his birth certificate, leading many documents to show his name as Edison, not Edson, as he was called. He was originally nicknamed Dico by his family. He received the nickname Pele during his school days, when, it is claimed, he was given it because of his pronunciation of the name of his favorite player, local Vasco da Gama goalkeeper Bile, which he misspoke, but the more he complained the more it stuck. In his autobiography, Pele stated he had no idea what the name means, nor did his old friends aid apart from the assertion that the name is derived from that of Bile, the word has no meaning in Portuguese. Pele grew up in poverty in Bauru in the state of Sao Paulo. He earned extra money by working in tea shops as a servant. Taught to play by his father, he could not afford a proper football and usually played with either a sock stuffed with newspaper and tied with string or a grapefruit. He played for several amateur teams in his youth, including Set de Setembro, Canto do Rio, São Paulo and Ho, and Ameriquin Hapele led Bauru Atletico Club Juniors, coached by Waldemar de Brito, to two São Paulo State Youth Championships. In his mid-teens, he played for an indoor football team called Radium. Indoor football had just become popular in Bauru when Pele began playing it. He was part of the first futsal, indoor football, competition in the region. Pele and his team won the first championship and several others. According to Pele, futsal, indoor football, presented difficult challenges, he said it was a lot quicker than football on the grass, and that players were required to think faster because everyone is close to each other in the pitch. Pele credits Futsal for helping him think better on the spot. In addition, Futsal allowed him to play with adults when he was about 14 years old. In one of the tournaments he participated in, he was initially considered too young to play, but eventually went on to end up top scorer with 14 or 15 goals. That gave me a lot of confidence, Pele said. I knew then not to be afraid of whatever might come. Thank you very much for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.